In Lambert High School's lab, Sean Lee and his classmates are teenage genetic engineers, manipulating the building blocks of life. And what we're going to do is we're going to move each of these samples into these mixes. And these mixes have everything we need in order to amplify our DNA. It's, it's currently amplifying. Yes. All right. And we'll have to do this three more times for our different samples. So you would kind of swipe across. We went to check out the iGEM team's project for the big Paris competition. We first decided to map out where Lyme is most prevalent. Their presentation seemed more like a pitch from a biotech startup than a public high school science class. Along with Sean, senior Avani Karthik is also a team captain. And so it's a novel way of CRISPR that detects. And so we have to create a guide RNA. And when that guide RNA is recognized, the protein gets activated and it collaterally cleaves or cuts everything around it. That just went right over my head. <laughs> <laughs> this is light years beyond my biology class, where the high point was dissecting frogs. So you're just going to measure out 50. This is called synthetic biology. A popular example of synthetic biology is golden rice, where you're able to engineer this rice to have the specific vitamins that you want so that it's more nutrient dense. And this would sound like cliche, but it's just endless possibilities. So you can just do whatever you want with it, as long as it's ethically correct. <laughs>